it's Ash from Super Videos, back for another one. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a recent rumor that's been circulating the Walking Dead fandom for quite a while. That rumor is that Jeffrey Dean Morgan will be leaving the show at some point, and Negan is going to either get a death by the end of this season, so in the season 10 finale, 10-16, or early on in season 11, or he's going to get an open-ended exit, much like Rick and Michonne. Now, one thing I want to say right off the bat is that I don't know if this is legit or not, but I think that there is an opportunity for them to do a lot with Negan if he's taken away from the show. So you can take Negan and put him in his own spin-off show, or you could take him and make like a movie for him or something along those lines. But with that said, given where the Walking Dead's TV universe is at this point, with Michonne and Rick gone, it doesn't really work in their favor to have Negan have his own thing and then have the story continue on on the original show. Is that a possibility later on? Definitely. I think there's definitely a lot of opportunities for them to play with this character later on. But I don't necessarily think that it's the right time at this point. But with that said, I don't think that they're going to kill him off. I think if anything, he is definitely getting some sort of an open-ended exit. And they're going to do something with his character later on, on another medium. Maybe a spin-off, like I said, or a movie or something like that. I think Negan in the Walking Dead universe is too big of a character to just kill off like this. That's why Kirkman didn't kill him off or couldn't kill him off in the comics. Because let's face it, as big as Rick, Michonne, and some of the other characters are in both the comics and the TV show, Negan is just on another planet in a way. What he's been able to do with this franchise or for this franchise is huge and no one's really been able to touch him in terms of being able to do what he's done. A lot of it goes back to who Negan is as a character and how charismatic he is, how Kirkman wrote this character. But I also think partly it's because of what Jeffrey Dean Morgan has been able to do with this character as well. But to just put this in short, I don't think that they're going to kill him off. I think he's going to get an open-ended exit and I don't think that he's going to exit anytime soon. Maybe by the end of season 11, I could see that. But in the finale, 1016, or early on in season 11, maybe a little bit too early, in my opinion. And of course, it's just my own personal opinion. You can disagree. I could be wrong. I've been wrong a lot in the past. So I could be wrong about this one as well. But the idea of Negan getting an open-ended exit also goes with one of my previous speculations or predictions that I had a few months back where I said Negan is going to be exiled and the person who's going to exile Negan is Maggie when she returns and it could definitely still go down that way and when that happens in a way Negan is dead for the show because he's gone from the story just like Michonne and Rick are dead for the show in a way because they're gone they're no longer a part of the story but he is still alive, so you can utilize him in some other medium. But it doesn't have to go down like that. And what I mean by that is you could do something very, very interesting with Negan and Beta. So, of course, everyone is expecting some sort of a showdown between Negan and Beta in the finale. We also feel like, or many fans feel like, Daryl is also going to be a part of that fight or a part of that showdown. If you put my other prediction in there about Maggie, which I discussed on a separate video, it could all kind of come together. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, who didn't watch the other video that I did, I predicted that Maggie's return will overlap with this showdown between Daryl, Negan, and Beta. Negan and Daryl could be in a predicament where maybe Beta and some other whispers have surrounded them or something along those lines. And then maybe at that point, that's how Maggie could actually make her entrance to the story. So she could show up potentially with soldiers with her 
who came with her from Georgie's community and they can help kill the Whispers and help Negan and Daryl escape. When that's going down though, we could have it so that Beta just runs off or hides or something. And Negan and Daryl see it in the interest of everyone for Maggie and the soldiers she came with to go help the people back at the tower who may be trapped and have Negan and Daryl deal with the Beta situation by themselves. I actually talked a lot about how that could all come together on a separate video, so if you're interested, go check that out. Daryl and Negan could go after Beta, and like I said in the other video, it's personal for both Negan and Daryl. So they're gonna wanna take their time, and maybe in their quest to do that, Negan is injured. But at the end of the day, they do kill Beta, but Negan's injury may be such that he may not think that he can make it, so he tells Daryl, he could go back by himself and that way Negan doesn't have to face Maggie when he returns. And you can actually make that scene very, very powerful and quite impactful if you do it right. And then at that point when Daryl leaves, you can have it so that Negan is rescued by someone. It doesn't have to be anyone we know, but he's just rescued by some random survivors. And he just leaves the story that way. So that could be Negan's open-ended exit. You could have everyone thinking Negan is probably dead. You could even do something very clever and interesting and have Daryl come back to look for Negan's body. And that could be like a callback or it could parallel the story that we had in the past where Daryl was actually looking for Rick's body. So you could make things quite interesting in that sense. But if they do that, it'll be kind of in between. Negan is not dead, but everyone thinks he's dead, but he is not in the story and he could make his comeback maybe in a spinoff or in a movie or something along those lines. But with that said, at the end of the day, I don't think that it's a smart idea to actually kill Negan off. If they want to go for shock value and if they feel like they can't really do anything else with Negan, then they could kill him off. But I think there's a lot of possibilities to do a lot of great things with Negan if they don't kill him off. Now, I'm not saying that he has to stay in the story. There's probably very little that they could do with Negan if he's still part of the story in the TV show. But if, like I said, they have him exit, they could utilize him in another medium. But with all of that said, I want to know everyone's thoughts and opinions about this. Do you think they're going to kill Negan off? Or do you think he's going to get an open-ended exit? Or do you think that neither of those are going to come true and Negan is going to stick around and we're not going to see anything with Negan and all of these are just rumors so let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below that's it for this video see you next time for another super video